welcome to simon today we are going to look into the angular component so if you are actually newly seeing this video the before videos you have to check actually in the description i'm going to show you the first videos of first part of the videos of this so you can check the first part of the videos of the angular sessions in the description please check and you can continue with this so today what i'm going to show you we have to understand very much important thing as part of angular components so this is the component actually in this component what and all the facilities given to the developers so that how quickly we can able to develop the component so that is what i'm going to show you here. first and foremost thing is the variables creation so inside the component class how we can able to create a variables and how can we can use that variable into the html that means in the view of the angular application we have to look at so so as you know as we know already the component uh, is this uh, class actually and this class is decorated with the component decorator and we have a selector template url style urls has been binded for whatever the four files we have been discussed about so css file html and ts file in in this session we need to carefully look into my component dot component at html and ts how the communication between this ts file and html will happen using the variable so first of all i'm going to create one variable for example i'm just going to create a variable so this is a, a very simple way of creation variable the moment i say name this is the name of the variable and colon you can put the data type of the variable and then you can check you can put the semicolon here the moment you put the semicolon auto suggestion is telling us something we have to initialize the variable that means what we can put some value to the variable so in this particular case i'm just assigning the value as hello since i am created one string variable i have been assigned the value hello so now let me save this and uh, open the application and check here nothing is appearing here i wanted to show that variable value in the html part of it so how to bring that is the first and foremost thing we need to understand so to do that we need to understand what is the name of the variable and you remember this is class level variable that means what we have two types of variables will be there in the component class or any other classes that is class level variables this is also called as instance variables and another part of the variables are local variables which is part of our methods and constructors like that so later we will discuss about it currently just look into the class level variable just now i have created one variable and with the data type is equal to the value this is the way we create the variable and how to use this variable into the html so you go to the html let me delete everything and you can use this this is called interpolation so interpolation means this is the way two curly braces uh, open and close okay the moment we put that and keep the variable name automatically the variable value will be appears so that much simply you can able to get the variable value from the javascript that means from the typescript uh, class component class to the htm and it will be able to happen only between the component binded html only we cannot use this variable in any other components okay that we need to remember and first we concentrate within the component files we have css html and ts right these three files only the communication will happen that means if i create anything in in the ts file in the class level the variable then that variable will be able to use in html in several ways the first and foremost variable uh, way i'm just showing you is interpolation way which is display actually 
the value, whatever the value is available in that variable has been shown here. Let me check that, okay? I'm just saving this. Uh, if you see that we have a selector here, app my component selector, I'm copy that and go to the HTML uh, app component.html and uh, let me keep it here. So the moment we keep it here, then automatically that will render that pulls that my component and show in the app component as we discussed already all these things into the previous sessions. If you want more information about that, the selector, what is selector and how to use, you can please refer the previous videos. Now, if I show that in the browser, the value which we assigned to the variable name has been appeared. Let me change the variable. So the moment I change the variable value, automatically that will be available in the HTML, automatically changes the variable value in the HTML. So like that, this is the one way, this is what is called interpolation. So interpolation is the most powerful technique and interpolation can be used anywhere and everywhere. For example, you need to understand the most important thing is, this is the pattern, two flower brackets, open and close and inside that we have a variable name this is the uh, format and let me show you in a div this is div tag inside div i can use the same thing and uh, in h1 i can place it wherever i can place this then the value of the variable will be automatically shows there and you check it over there that will be coming okay and also this can be able to use like that for example i have a span and in that i have this thing actually uh, the text will be this is span and i wanted to have this particular uh, value into the class then what i can do i can able to put it inside class the same interpolation so that if you check that this is span came and then I can inspect it and check the class, the class will be the one which is the value of the name. So that's how it should be. So the interpolation is very handy and interpolation can be able to place wherever you want and uh, however you want. The value of the variable will be replaced automatically. Now let me check with the different different types of the variables. Uh, mostly we are going to use the string we have been seen already. Another one is boolean. Is value true? Something like that. This is actually a boolean. Boolean means the value should be true or false. So I just kept the boolean and the boolean can be able to use the same way. I just opens the interpolation and keep the value there so that that will be appears. The value whatever is there and uh, i can able to another type i can create one more variable over there which is the number so the moment i put the number type variable that is also the same way i can able to use actually so I'm going to show you some error if the variable names are not matching or you need to be remember that you have to save each and every time okay the ts file you have to save it then the value can be able to use the interpolation now you check that the values appear like that so this is the way we can use the interpolation in several ways and also interpolation supports several ways actually you can able to add the formulas actually formulae for example salary plus 10 i have been added that will be calculated and shows. Uh, that, like that, you can able to add several formulas or whatever the way you wanted to concatenate with different variables. Or uh, you can able to apply whatever the formula you wanted to apply. You can apply here. And one more thing you can apply, there are uh, something like you can add the function. You can have a function call also. But uh, function calls in the later sessions, I can able to tell you. There are one, so many other ways like uh, we have a 
a kind of pipes you can use over there so pipes and all we can able to uh, talk about later and like that we have several ways we can able to use the uh, interpolation it's very much handy and for now i'm just stopping here let me put all the variables whatever have been created here in one place we have name is value true and salary okay first one is name let me put it like this name colon name salary colon salary and one more variable is is value true a boolean so okay is very true so i just save it go and check you can have the output of the all kinds of variables name salary and is value thank you very much for that uh, this is how you can able to use the interpolation it's very simplest way i have been shown you like that there are several things are there like you can able to check uh, different different data types in upcoming uh, uh, videos please subscribe for my channel for more upcoming videos and you can able to comment what kind of uh, uh, ideas or what kind of doubts or clarifications you want in upcoming videos definitely i will be uh, try to uh, cover that as well and uh, thank you very much